Uh, here, I had a problem. I wanted to make circuit boards, and I wanted to do iterations of circuit boards, but I couldn't find a way to do them fast enough, so I decided to make my own. Um, and then, with the laser cutter, it makes it really easy to do this. So I'll just take you through the process. Um, let's see. Like this. So, uh, you basically start with a piece of copper that's got fingerprints all over it. Can we turn the lights on? Sure. Um, lights. And now, hey. if you go online to look for how to do this with a laser cutter, uh, you get a lot of information, but none of it actually gives you what you want. So, uh, here's some... Uh, where'd you go? Come on, talk to me. Over right corner. Go away. There we go. Okay, so um, what I decided, well, okay, so we started. Uh, yes, thank you. I love technology sometimes. Um, okay, so you start with a piece of the circuit board. Here's one of the tricks. Uh, it's really simple. You sand the circuit boards. Um, you get a 3M uh, sanding block that's about 320 grit, and just go right over this, right over this, right over the copper before you spray it down. The next thing you do is use some cheap uh, spray enamel and give the board a coat or two. And you want to make sure you do it light strokes, um, so you get a nice even coating. When that's done, okay. So while you're waiting for that to dry, you take your eagle eagle uh, drawings. Um, you set some of the layers so that you only see the top top layer like this. You take it, uh, basically you export the thing as a PNG and it gives you a, a monochrome and it gives you a board that looks like this. You bring it over to the laser cutter, um, you ex import it into Corel, and you can lay, it out, lay out your board in the upper right hand, upper left hand corner of the board. And then you uh, set uh, Set the uh, laser cutter to raster, 100% uh, power, about 50-60% speed, and you do two cuts on it. The first cut, as it's getting started, burns off the uh, solvent that's left in the uh, in the enamel. Um, and as it's going through, uh, you can see this is a good first cut. That's what the board looks like. Then you turn the speed down to, to anywhere between, something like 20% or so, and then you do your final cut. And you can see where the paint is being uh, taken off, and you almost have a really nice, nice looking board. Okay, so you end up with this. Um, sometimes there's still some gum on the board, so you need to take an eraser and just go over the board to make sure all the gum is off and you get a nice edge. Uh, we have some etching in the back. I use muriatic acid and hydrogen peroxide. Uh, you pour that together, it etches the, cop the copper really well. Um, it looks really nasty after a while, but it's also more or less recyclable and uh, reusable. Um, in order to reuse it, you take a little bit of acid, put it in the thing, and add a little bit more um, peroxide, and you're done. So then you start to etch. You can tell it's etching well uh, when it starts to turn red. Uh, now you also notice in this, you'll see when it's etching, there'll be areas like this where uh, it etches a little bit more than the other. Take a Q-tip and just keep washing over it. It works just fine. Uh, this is uh, the thing as, as it's going along. You can see that there's some modeling on it. When it breaks through, you'll start to see the board break through. Be careful not to over etch it. Um, this is the finished board. Okay, you take it, you drill, lights. And then you end up with... Lights. Wait, something that looks like this. Okay, now, I want to do two-sided circuit boards, which is a little more challenging, so I took... Uh, this one is a surface mount board. It does the same thing, basically. It's a power board for an Arduino, so you're not limited to the power that the Arduino puts out. You can pretty much put anything through it. There's diodes on it, so you can run motors, you can run coils, um, all sorts of cool things. 
Now, it took me. Okay. Oh, that fails? Ooh. Yeah, lots of fails. Awesome. <laughs> you fail for us. Lots of fails. So now you can get it done perfectly.